Welcome to another episode of Community Association Car Chat with David and Steve. We're glad to welcome you to our cars to discuss community association related matters with community association experts. Today we have two guests. Steve is going to introduce them. Take it away, Steve. Hello, David. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Steve Roderick, and along with David, we work for JGS Insurance, a privately owned but nationally recognized insurance firm. So today we have a special episode. We have two guests. We have first Mr. Larry Sauer of Association Advisors, New Jersey. He is the managing partner. We also have Fred Hodge, who is the president and co-founder of Clearview Washing. To get this started, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Larry Sauer, as introduced, managing partner for Association Advisors, NJ. Um, we are a, a privately owned company that specializes in managing community associations throughout the state of New Jersey, from Cape May to Bergen County. I was fortunate enough to get into this, fall into this industry uh, 30 plus years ago and uh, have been in it ever, ever since and enjoy uh, tremendously what I do. How about you, Fred? Hey guys, well thanks for having me. Um, I'm president and one of the founders of uh, Clearview Washing and uh, we're community cleaning specialists in New Jersey. We're based out of Freehold, New Jersey. Uh, we've been around for 17 years now, and uh, we basically uh, take care of all the exterior cleaning needs, whether it be power washing, whether it be soft washing, roof cleaning, gutter cleaning. We handle all of the community's uh, exterior cleaning needs. So, so Larry, why don't you tell us how, how you guys met? How'd you guys come to know each other? I met the um, Hodge family about a few years ago. Uh, Fred Hodge Sr. was very persistent in uh, trying to schedule a coffee date with me. So uh, I'm, I'm not one to turn down a coffee date. He introduced me to the Hodge family and the services they provide to community associations. Now, s since we're talking about Fred, can you tell us a little bit how long you've been involved in common interest community living world as a professional? <laughs> Larry mentioned he's been around for 30 plus years. How about you? So we've been around for 17 years, but I'd say in the past six years is when we really got into the community association cleaning. Um, question for Larry, uh, how, how did you actually get started? You said you fell into this business. I started uh, years ago uh, from the ground up, um, managing and maintaining uh, residential communities and uh, took a liking to managing condos and converting condos. Um, and then uh, had my own business for quite a few years and then just kept uh, kept managing associations. What's your key to success, at least one of them? I think my success has been that I really love and have a passion for what I do. Each day is different in this industry and I look forward to, um, to going to work each day and you know, providing a, a valuable and needed service. So how would you describe your professional relationship with Mr. Sauer? So That's it's a loaded I it's, question. Be careful. <laughs> loaded question and, right there. And who is and who is he again? And what firm? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Association <laughs> Advisors. So uh, I think it all starts with trust. It makes things a lot easier. So I think uh, we're a local, established, family-owned business based out of Freehold, the same town as Association Advisors. And we were able to build that trust. And I think from there, that's when the, the relationship really developed. Now, Larry, with again your wisdom and experience in the industry what would be your one piece of advice that you would give to someone that is getting into property management in this day and age to have um, patience and perseverance um, it's an exciting career difficult at times so you just need to have patience and enjoy what you're doing if you if you don't enjoy the all aspects of the property management profession then you're not going to be successful I'm going to I'm going to bounce the same question over to you Fred. So but but from a from a vendor's perspective from how how would somebody be successful in getting involved with the community associations? So what I've learned over the, the past six years dealing with the community associations is the communication and transparency angle mm. um, from pre bid to yeah. post job making sure whether it's the successes or even uh, any issues or failures that arise just being open communicate um, and making sure that we resolve everything. Fred what do you think is the most important thing to make the life of a manager easy? So uh, for us in our line of work, especially, we're making sure that we're leaving notices uh, so that the uh, residents are aware of what's going on. We're bringing up any types of issues. We're addressing any types of issues real quick because we always have an on-site uh, manager making sure that type of stuff is taken care of. And uh, I think just making sure that from start to finish and being as efficient 
getting in, getting out, make sure everything looks great is all very important. I got a question here from my friend Larry over here. So there's a lot of community associations in New Jersey and in the tri-state area. And there's also a lot of management companies. So as a board member or a unit owner, why would I want to call association advisors to come manage our community? Great question. Um, we are a privately owned, local, hands-on property management company that specializes in community associations. The owners, Bonnie and James Bertan, are active in the business, uh, along with myself as managing partner. We have no other uh, outside interest, meaning we do not have any business relationships in any other uh, affiliated entities or companies. Our sole focus is on managing our community association clients. Moving on to Fred, same question. Go ahead, Fred. There's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, I always say technologically advanced. So we call it power washing, but in reality, we do a method called soft washing. So we're applying a light detergent and we're cleaning it and we're a lot more efficient and we're also treating the mold, mildew, dirt at the root. And as a result of that, we're getting it cleaner, we'll stay cleaner longer as well. So the combination of uh, staying technologically advanced, not only in the communication aspect, but in the actual technology of how we're going about cleaning. Our work really stands for itself and uh, it really goes a long way compared to anyone else. What does your perfect customer look like? So our, our specialty is a mix of high-end residential and, and basically uh, commercials, specifically the community work. How about for you, Larry? Uh, what's the picture perfect uh, community association for your company? There, um, There's no such thing as a, a picture perfect <laughs> community. Each one is unique and uh, stands on its own with its uh, problems and issues and concerns. But we, um, we manage as small as a nine unit um, community on the shore and as large as 2,500 unit active adult community. Now, uh, can you both tell us something about yourself, about Larry Sauer and about Fred Hodge? I've been a past fire chief and volunteer firefighter for over 40 years in the, in the borough of Neptune City. And uh, that keeps me grounded and it's something that I enjoy being with the guys on a regular basis and, and, and helping out our community. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, most people, most most people don't. Now I, uh, now I, you know, not as uh, active as I was years ago because the younger members are the ones rushing into the buildings, and the older guys are either driving the big red trucks or, or helping being support. But it's a uh, it's a great great hobby, and it, like I said, it's a de stressor for me. Same question over to you there, Freddie. Yeah, so Larry forgot to tell you he's an avid gardener, but aside from that, on my end, um, I absolutely <laughs> love to travel and uh, I can't wait to start traveling again post-COVID. But a personal goal of mine was to uh, uh, be placed in the 40 under 40 for New Jersey. And uh, at the end of the day, I was nominated this year. So uh, fingers crossed, I'm looking to see if I can achieve that on my personal side. I put together some questions at uh, who is better? All right, so I'm gonna ask a question and all you guys gotta do is just raise your hand as to who is better. All right, so who is a better golfer? I'm gonna, Fred. <laughs> I golf twice a year, that's it. Who is a better driver? I think Fred in my driving, but I'm sure Larry's a good driver too. <laughs> I, I do, I do as well. I enjoy driving, it's, uh, I enjoy driving. So I would take credit for that. Who's a better gift giver? I would say both of us. Okay, yeah, I'll go with I both, both of us. I, I think we both have to be in the businesses that we're in. So now we would like to give you both 20 seconds to plug for your business. Fred, you got 20 seconds. What I want to show everyone is we have these Clearview Duncan gift cards, uh, these $5 Clearview Duncan gift cards that we'd really love to distribute out to any New Jersey property managers. So uh, uh, drop us a line below, comment below, you're interested. And uh, either my father, Fred Hodge Sr., the head of sales at our company, or Jose Romero, our uh, business uh, specialist, um, either one could get it to you. So if you're interested, we'd love to give to any New Jersey property managers. Good idea. How about you, Larry? We are, again, a privately owned company that specializes in managing community associations. And give us a call and give us an opportunity to, to provide you with a competitive management proposal. And um, I will promise you, you will not be disappointed. All right. Thank you both so much for sitting down with us for a few minutes and talking about community associations. Larry, of course, it's always a pleasure working with you and Association Advisors and Freddie, Clearview as well. If you guys have any questions for them, Please check the link down below. We'll get you in touch. Thank you all of our viewers for enjoying this episode and we'll see you next time.